Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to show you my Muscari plants. They are all basically in bloom and looking beautiful. So they grow kind of like tulips or other bulb-like plants, kind of like emeralds too. So this is what the bulbs look like. You don't want to pot them or plant them way below the soil like an amaryllis, otherwise it will rot. Uh, standard potting mix in clay pots. Um, they can be planted in the garden. Really nice plants and very easy too, extremely easy to take care of. So they are supposed to be muscari blue. So they are basically a blue color, but in the video, I don't know why it's looking purple, but it's still beautiful regardless. But I promise you they are blue. Now, as far as uh, care goes, so it's kind of like the same thing for any other bulb, uh, like an amaryllis. When you are growing these, as soon as they kind of flower, you just keep watering them little by little. Don't flood them. Do not waterlog them. Just water them and keep them moist. And when they flower like this, keep going with the water. And then as soon as they die off, you just kind of keep growing it through the summer months. And you keep them out of direct sun. They do not like that. So if you have them in your garden, do not plant them in direct sun. They don't like direct sunlight for some reason. They probably burn easy. And also make sure that they get kind of like afternoon shade. That's what they really prefer. That's what they like. So I do have them in pots. So you can keep them in pots like I am. I have 20 bulbs, I believe, per pot. So I have about 60 plants that are all in bloom right now. So it is crazy in this greenhouse. And let me tell you, the smell is incredible. They are extremely fragrant. And if you come in, yeah, it's like a, almost like a, a peppery kind of fragrance. It's really nice. It's strong, but, but really nice. It's still very pleasant. The plants don't get too tall. I'd say maybe about eight, nine inches, sometimes 12, but sometimes they do get tall like this one over here. And they all kind of grow at variable heights. Some of them a little taller than others, but usually about the same size. And they also like to produce like offsets. So let's see if I can see one. There's one there. So they kind of like to produce little babies on the sides there. Just let those grow in. Don't do anything with them. You can separate them if you wish, but I prefer to keep them together. And you can see like they just keep on producing new, new, basically new flower spikes. Unbelievable. So beautiful though. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Love these plants. And like I said, the smell is almost like a sweet, peppery, fragrant aroma. It's very nice. It's very pleasant. Not uh, not too pungent or anything like that to make you like want to sneeze, trust me. But it's very nice. These are very cool plants and very easy to take care of. So after they are done blooming, you can go ahead and cut the, uh, the basically the... After they are done blooming, you can basically cut the flower spikes off down as low as you can go. Just don't damage the plant. And then just take care of them as you would any other bulb and let them you know grow throughout the summer you can fertilize them and then usually they'll start dying around fall and then they should come back for you in spring so you kind of stop watering a little bit in fall keep them slightly moist but let them stay dry because we don't want them to rot and they should come back for you very easy plants and absolutely beautiful love these so i should be getting some more bulbs in soon i'm getting different colors i'm getting white pink and i think like one that's kind of almost like a baby's breath, so it's a very light blue. So it's like this one, but a little different. So, but I don't know when those will come, but probably within the next maybe week or so. I know one of them is coming from England, so I may not see that one for quite some time. But I did want to let you guys know. But I did want to make a quick little video for you guys and showing how beautiful these plants are. So awesome and so, so, so easy to grow. Love them. Wow. So cool. And I have it in my small greenhouse right now, and this is all I smell. This is literally it. This is all I smell. It's absolutely gorgeous. And every time I come in, it's like, this is all I see. This is all my eyes gravitate towards. Even though I may have a black orchid right here, I want to just look at these all day. I, they're just so, so stunning. And trust me, they are blue. It looks purple, but they are, they are blue. So cool. But that's it you guys just want to show you that I'm just so proud of them so I wanted to document them and show you guys before they before they kind of 
recede back and, and the flowers die off and I have to wait till next year, but it's okay. I will wait. They are so worth it. But that's it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video and also subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll be making more videos in the upcoming days or so. I, I have a lot more to do. So thank you very much to those who have already subscribed. It means a lot to me. I will see you all in the next video. And as always, everyone, stay safe out there and happy growing.